everyone. What's up? It's Fano. We got a new experimental card that just came out. And uh, I'm going into this, like, live in the moment. I haven't really played this yet, but Moira's been changed. And I'm going to read off the patch notes while playing. So bear with me here. So in the, in the experimental notes, we've got Biotic Grasp Attach Angle reduced by 37%. So it's going to be a little bit harder to attach the grass. Now, Biotic Orb, the damage orb, now sticks to enemies when impacting them instead of piercing through them. Only deals damage is stuck to a target. Deals a constant 60 DPS to all enemies. So let's have a look here. It's stuck to him. You can see, like, stuck to his head. Um, will remain on a stuck player for three seconds or until 120 damage is dealt to that player, whichever happens first. The orb is destroyed if it hits an enemy barrier. Wait, what? Didn't I just throw it through the barrier? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if I did or not. Reduce max number of bounces to one. Increase projectile speed from 20 to 25. So you got to try and hit people with it, basically, and stick it to them. But if you can, it seems like it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, Faye that now phases out all allies within six meters for one second after exit and fades. So... Let me try and get to this Rhine. Okay, we'll see if we can fade this guy out. So he's faded now. Yeah, he's faded for a second. So he doesn't take damage while he's faded. Which is... I don't know. They seem to, to really want to... Get this mechanic into the game. I don't know how I feel about it. It just feels weird. Like, I get that there's going to be some kind of, like... Play potential with it. Where you fade and then at the end of your fade, like... Your teammates become basically invincible for a little bit of time. Um, and, and last time we saw it come into experimental, people didn't like it. Let's see if we can connect this all. Okay, it's got one bounce. It's really fast. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. The one bounce definitely makes it, like, super difficult to use. Did we attach it to anyone? I'm not sure. It's hard to see because I'm always, like, behind everyone else. Um, Fade is now 8 second cooldown instead of 6 second cooldown. And Fade no longer frees Moira or allies from Zaya's Grav or Sigma's Gravitic Flux. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so Moira can no longer save herself, essentially. Let's try and... Uh, I want to try and get someone with the orb here. Let's try and get this Widow. It's actually kind of hard to find the right situation to get someone with the orb. Okay, here we go. It's connected to the Reaper, dude. And I think it's doing damage to everyone around him. Oh, God, I got tapped. So let me read this again. Deals a constant 60 DPS to all enemies if stuck to a target. Will remain stuck on a player for three seconds or until 120 damage is dealt. Which means that it could do... Let's say there's five enemies around the main player. You're basically looking at six times 60. So you're looking at 360, a possible 720 damage in an entire pack, which is a hell of a lot of damage. That's assuming, you know, there's five players around the guy you get the orb on, of course, which is kind of insane to do, but uh, yeah, we missed it. I got to get used to that new speed. It's not ultra fast. It's just kind of fast, so... Definitely not going to be that easy to hit. Let's have another go here. Didn't connect to anyone. Now, it looked like it was doing damage before it connected to someone, so... I just want to read this again. Only deals damage if stuck to a target. Weird, because it looked like it was doing damage before it was stuck to someone, though. Unless it was stuck, and I just didn't realize it was stuck. So let's uh, let's try this again and see where it goes. Now, interesting, interestingly enough, and I haven't experienced it enough yet, so this is a very early thought, but I don't mind this iteration of the damage orb. But I'm still weirded out by the fades. I'm going to try to get on the back line here so we can see the orb better as we go in. Let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, one bounce on the wall and it's done. Uh, we can try and attach it to this hog maybe. He doesn't have a shield and he's kind of fat, so... Okay, it's, it's got to be attached to that Widow. Surely she's dead. No? <laughs> it's so hard to know if like you're actually attached or not. It'd be good if they had something like... Um, did I get on the Mercy there? No. We could have had something like the Zen Orb. 
where at the bottom right of the screen it shows if you're uh, you're attached on the orb or not. Let's have another go here. Nope. No hit there. Oh, it's definitely hard to hit, man. Now the fact that it does, you know, a reasonable amount of damage doesn't bother me that much because it is actually kind of hard to hit. Even though the projectile's fast, like, you don't get any bounces or anything, so. Let's chuck this one in. There we go, dude. Attached to his head and he's gone. Ah, so it didn't say this in the patch notes. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, 120 damage dealt to that player, but it deals 60 to all enemies. Huh. This is weird, man. I feel like uh, it's a, it's definitely a high risk uh, ability now because it's so hard to hit, but the, the damage output could be insane. You gotta remember that. Ooh. Oh god, yeah, we got clapped uh, Getting too excited, boys. It does bring up an interesting choice, though, because, like, in the past, generally you want to go for heal all, but pretty much all the time, as long as people can be healed. Um, but uh, if you can do more than 300 damage, which is possible now, if you hit, like, the main stack, there we go, we're attached. So that should do a very good amount of damage since there's a lot of people around. I don't want to get hooked. I don't want to get hooked. Okay, he's not going for it, the lads. Just burn him down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix it up now. Now I'm just going to try and play like I would normally play Moira and uh, focus on the fade a little bit, which uh, makes people invincible for a second after the fade is done. So it's not like an easy thing to hit people with. So here I want to throw a damage orb. Like if I'm playing traditional Moira, I really want to throw the damage orb. No hit. But mostly I'm just focusing on healing my teammates, right? That's my goal. I am a healer after all. I can probably get an orb on this guy. There we go. It's connected. It's really hard to know and feel like how much damage you're doing. That's my biggest concern with this. Obviously, we heal this. So I get the orb on and uh, I don't really get a good, like, I don't get good feedback on what's happening with it like I did with the old orb. I think because it just ticks away so fast. So we got it connected to the Arisa there. Okay, it's going to be a close match. So my initial impressions is that I don't mind the idea of it, but from a feeling perspective, it just doesn't feel that great. Um, because you're not getting much feedback on the, you know, mostly what is happening. Yo, let's see if we can attach an orb here. Like, what happened there? It, like, went small. Like, it was draining, but it wasn't attached to anyone. Attached to this hog, maybe? It's attached to the hog. It's going in. It should be doing a lot of damage. Soldier at the back, yeah. I'm gonna try and heal my boy. If I can. Okay, we nearly got ults as well. We'll hit it. Mostly gonna heal here though. We'll do both. Oh, I tried to attach a damage orb to him, but uh, it's a little bit too late. They did cap the point though. Saw to work on these. Uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about this orb, guys, because I definitely feel weird about it. Again, I like the idea, and it's like this is obviously not the final iteration, but it just feels. Not very impactful. From what I could feel from using it, it didn't feel like I wanted to use it. Just because, like, the feedback of damage is, doesn't seem to be there that well. Like, if, if, so basically, if, if I get the orb on someone and it's connected to them, and then that person is around five other people, I want, like, big hit markers. Like, your orb is connected to this guy and it's also hitting all of the dudes around him. I want to know that I'm doing a lot of damage, you know? Like, I want to know. Because otherwise, it just feels kind of meh. Because, like, most of the time, if you connect an orb to someone, they're going to drop back. You're not going to be able to see your orb. So you're getting no response on what is happening. So it's kind of weird. As for the fade, it's an interesting idea. Um, And it's going to be... I think I need to play it more to see how it really 
plays out because the idea is that, you know, you basically fade and then you can save people from certain ultimates or certain damage. Now, obviously, the difficulty with that is you've got to fade first because they fade after, which means you've got to delay on preventing them from taking damage. So it also kind of just uh, acts like a cleanse for everyone else, um, which is interesting because a lot of people have been asking for a support hero that does have a cleanse. Um, doesn't feel like it's all there yet. Like I like the ideas that they have, but it doesn't feel correct yet. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night. Peace, guys.